What up? This is I from Ask Off Solar, where I like to keep solar simple. I'm just going to jump right into it. I got this device for a very good deal, um, about a third of the price for 500 watt, watt hours. It's already an inexpensive device. It costs about $360 right now. It has a $50 coupon. But I don't know how I feel about these devices that are really cheap. So it says it has a pure sine wave inverter. 500 watt hour capacity it doesn't have any fancy USB-C ports they say it's regulated but I, I have yet to test something like that it is a Jackery clone in my opinion that could be me being harsh toward the company uh, it charges with the Jackery port it has these weird six millimeter six millimeter ports that nothing uses essentially I don't know why they put them on here but the only thing that I could explain is the fact that Jackery has those weird ports on their device so it is black and orange Jackery-esque to me lithium ion dip no MC4 I'm out here breaking all my rules but it didn't cost me so much now I did buy this thing for to be a battery or power dump when my portable power stations get full and I basically maxed out charging everything that is useful to me. I will kind of plug this into one of the portable power stations to dump power into it. That's one of the reasons. I also got it because it was at the moment before I got the EB7, it was my highest capacity portable power station. So anything I was running off of AC or whatever would run longer. And that was always super useful to me. I had a whole debacle with the person that I bought it from. It's a good guy. Um, he worked with me on that um, and reaching out to the manufacturer and all that jazz. They essentially, no lie, y'all, <laughs> said basically you can't trust the screen, the display, when you're plugging solar into it and when it's charging. And I'm like, wait, what? Like they like they did test and they basically say like, hey, yeah, we timed it and we charged it. And even though the screen says weird stuff, it still kind of does that. And I'm just like, what? Who does that? Who tells you that you can't trust their screen? Like, I guess with 300 bucks, what can you expect? I don't know. I don't know. One thing I do notice about this thing is it the ports are upside down. Whenever you see a device where they put in ports upside down, you have to wonder about the company because that means they had to make something fit. <laughs> I have never seen a uh, portable power station do this, but when you turn the AC, uh, the AC portion on, it uses eight watts off top. I've never seen a portable power station do that. Have you? And I think it's either smart or silly. It's smart because you know, and everybody knows that when you turn on an AC inverter, it's using power. Is that a lot of power? I don't know enough about power stations to say that. I noticed something that was really strange about it is when you plug solar into this and you turn the AC adapter on, the power usage goes up by like almost 50%. And I don't know where it maxes, but if I was using 20 watts and then it was using 28 watts because of the inverter being on, when I plug solar into it, the screen would then jump to like 50 watts or 60 watts or something like that. And it, it almost made me feel like, man, if it's using 60 watts and it takes in 100 watts, that made me feel kind of like I felt played like man that's burning too much energy it's not almost not worth it I have some issues with this device when I plug one of my lamps into it I only have like one or two lamps the light flickers it causes me to feel like this thing is not a pure sine wave inverter I don't have a way to measure that AC's on 26 percent well Walmart lamp with an LED from Amazon So you can see it blinking. Let me show you something else. This is the Bowdens, which is actually supposed to have a modified sound wave inverter. And we're gonna plug it into this one. Nothing. Modified sound wave, pure sound wave. And this one causes this to blink. I don't know what to do with that. So I just wonder about the quality of this device. One other thing that I noticed about this device is it kind of doesn't have the hard line <laughs> rules and constraints unless the screen is just really bad. But I've seen the screen say, yeah, we're taking in like 140 watts, 
150 watts when I had it hooked up to two panels in parallel. We had like a couple overcast days or partly cloudy days where the sun would kind of come out in high beam. <laughs> I always say something when something's really intense, I call it Habib Marwan because that dude was a he was a beast. Do y'all know who Habib Marwan is from a, a great show? I was just leave it at that. Let me know down in the comments. Another thing I forgot to mention in the video is when this thing is plugged into solar and you unplug it, everything turns off, which is stupid. I plugged it into the wall. This is my first time doing this, but I'm going to see if it's going to do the same thing. Yep. <laughs> How dumb is that? So ultimately, I made my peace with the device. I'm happy to have it. I throw it outside all the time on a 100 watt solar panel and I just let it power my whole dip because the good thing about it is it does take 100 watts in. I like that. If I put a 100 watt panel out in front and I got my entertainment for the kids and the family covered, I don't have to plug that into a wall outlet. And I just think that that's dope. And because it cost me so little, I could just hammer on it. Just power it up, pass through charge, all of that jazz. 500 cycles to 80%, who cares? I only need it to be able to hold 100 watts at any point anyway, because that's what I want to pass through. All right, it is I've Holla.